Hi everyone, incredible news. Jay Wetherill and the South Australian Government have announced that they will back building solar thermal in Port Augusta. This is a huge people powered win for Port Augusta, SA and the whole country that's going to create new jobs, 24 hour solar power, cut pollution and help reduce power prices. Five years ago, Port Augusta faced an uncertain future. Our city was home to South Australia's only coal-fired power stations, which brought us jobs, but it also affected our health. Then the jobs became uncertain, with no one knowing how long the coal would last. So together we looked to the future and began campaigning for Australia's first big solar thermal plant with storage, to create new jobs and a sustainable future. Soon we were backed by city council, unions, local business, doctors, climate and renewable energy groups, with thousands of supporters taking hundreds of actions all around Australia. We held local votes in Port Augusta and across the state. We met politicians in Adelaide and in Canberra. We wrote reports and told every solar thermal company around the world about how sunny Port Augusta is. We took action online and crowdfunded TV ads and billboards. We door knocked and had thousands of conversations. We rallied and a hundred of us even walked from Port Augusta to Adelaide to make our voices heard. And together we won. <laughs> Two years ago when the news came that the coal power stations were set to close, there was no plan for transitioning our community away from our reliance on the coal industry. This hit our community hard, but we didn't give up. We chose to push harder than ever to repower Port Augusta, and you stood with us. Building solar thermal means redefining our future, bringing back jobs, replacing some of the jobs we lost when the coal stations closed. And it is a powerful symbol to the rest of Australia that we can have renewable energy on demand day and night. Because of the commitment of people in Port Augusta, SA and across Australia, Jay Wetherill and the SA Government have committed to making solar thermal happen. And with federal funding promised last May, it's locked in. Thank you everyone who has stood up to repower Port Augusta. We did it.